Happy Easter everybody! Today I've got three amazing motor skills activities with a bit of an Easter flavour. They're great for teletherapy and brilliant for home learning as well. So my first one straight away. This is called the Extraordinary Sticker Picker. So for the sticker picker, again, only things you'll have around the house. So if you have a baking tray, any flat surface, but a baking tray is perfect. A cookie sheet, if you want to call it that. And an egg. You can use nice chocolate eggs if you want. I actually like using real eggs because that makes it a bit more dangerous and a bit more exciting. Gets the kids' attention a bit quicker, okay? So I'm going to pull in the tray here. I've got my baking tray. I'm very quickly going to get... You need some sort of stickers. You can actually use sticky tape, but stickers make it a little bit more interesting. I have two daughters, so we'll always have some stickers. I'm going to use my little pony stickers. I'm going to take off a couple of stickers. Normally, I would use about six or seven or eight. Today, just to show you guys, I'm going to do three. Okay, leave your stickers up in the tray. Get the child to hold the tray at about shoulder height first. Take your egg and put them on top. Now he has to balance the egg first, don't let them fall off, and then try and pick up the stickers. Because they're sticky side up, they pick up right away. It's actually surprisingly challenging for the shoulders and great for motor coordination and control. Okay, so far so easy. For the older kids, or if they can do that easy, what I'll do is make it dangerous. I'll throw it up the other way. So there's no edge, there's no barrier, there's no safety net. There you go, Spike. There you go, Rarity. There you go, my favorite. 37 year old man shouldn't have a favorite pony, but I do. Applejack. I'll take my egg again, get them to hold it first. Let's hope I don't drop this. Put the egg on top. Whoa. They get their balance first. This is amazing for kids who struggle with motor modulation. Whoa, because you need very finely tuned movements. <gasps> If you want to make it harder, you put the uh, you put the stickers closer to the edge. Last boy, yeah, and then we've got them. Perfect, easy peasy, okay? The egg extraordinary sticker picker, fantastic, okay? Next one, this is a really strong one. It looks so easy, but it's rather challenging. Why do I have three toilet rolls down here? It's not some weird quarantine flex, like me bawling on my toilet paper I have. No, it's a great strength exercise, especially for the shoulders, for those writing skills, okay? Get them to hold the roll of toilet paper out. Take your egg and shoulder eyes with the other hand, get them to pick up the egg and pop it in the top, okay? There's a little house. Again, chocolate eggs, less risky. I like the risk. Take up another roll of toilet paper, shoulder height, pop it on top. See where I'm going? And you try and balance another egg. Now, I've done this for some kids up to six rolls. This is already surprisingly heavy. An extra toilet paper adds quite a surprising amount of weight. Whoa. And keep going, okay? Pro tip, do this sitting on their bed, sitting crisscross applesauce in the middle of the bed. That way if it drops, no harm, no foul, the eggs will just bounce in the bed, they won't shatter and break, okay? Lovely. All right. So that's my uh, egg exciting stacker okay the only thing better than all the chocolate at easter is all the egg puns you get to make and the last one what's the last one let me see oh yes my bunny ears these are really super simple and the kids really like them if you're doing easter egg hunts get them to make bunny ears first okay so you need any hairband my other daughter's little kitty cat hairband take one sheet of paper get them to copy you doing this because it's so so simple all you're going to do is make, can you guys see? You're going to make a big oval. Big oval like that. And a second big oval like that. Then you do half an oval on one side, half an oval on the other side. Line across the middle, boom, boom. I'm going to do my kitty ears pink in the middle. Or my bunny ears, I should say. Fantastic, let me get the scissors on the box of tricks. And you just cut them out real fast. So I'm racing them along. Okay, okay. You do the same for both sides and make sure you one really quickly. Then you get your stapler. I have my, oh, excuse me. Grab my 
stapler. And simply, you can use tape. Staples are almost easier. Fold it over your hairband. Double it over. And staple, staple, staple. One bunny ear. Easy peasy, okay? It's not the task itself, it's just they make their own bunny ears, none of their bunny, and then you can do five or ten bunny related games. Always, I like. Put one little ear over, make sure you have a floppy ear bunny, okay? So there you go, three little Easter theme motor skills activities. One of the strongest ones that seems so simple is that stack in toilet paper. All you need, toilet paper, a baking tray, some stickers, and some eggs. Anyone can do it, okay? Any questions or requests, guys, feel free to send me a message. And have a nice Easter, and I'll see you again soon. Adam, you with tea? Bye.